This is something similar when it comes to business. Of course, business debt works a little bit different in business than it does in, in your personal, because in your business, you might go into 50% debt, 70% debt, but it doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing, especially if the return is going to be higher. Your ROI, return on your investment is going to be higher. But that was a, a way how I can explain it in case so that you can understand what um, the relevance of the two. So I said, avoid over leveraging to keep a healthy balance between debt and equity. So let's say you have equity in the company is a hundred thousand and you borrow money. You don't want to borrow a hundred thousand. If you you know, the equity is a hundred thousand, you might want to borrow 50,000 instead. That's a little bit more of a balance. So it's half of what your equity is and equity is what you actually own the assets that you have. Okay. So that's an example. That doesn't mean that you have to do this exactly but I'm just giving you an example. 